It was the case we broke with the video shocking to see a Glendale officer pulling the trigger on his stun gun repeatedly on an innocent man. The FBI is now investigating. So is that officer, Matt Schneider, still patrolling the streets? Glendale police won't give us a clear answer. What is clear, he caused problems for years. Our ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscoping digging into this officer's background. We first reported last week that Officer Schneider had been disciplined repeatedly, including three suspensions. Now we're taking you deeper inside his past discipline. Before Officer Matt Schneider tased a handcuffed man repeatedly, <laughs> internal police records show he had been suspended twice before. The first time in May 2008, suspended for a day for failing to follow orders. A supervisor told him to stop playing with a knife at his desk, but a short time later, Another officer walked by, got hit by the knife, cutting his hand severely. The next, in June 2008, Schneider was suspended another day after he intentionally ordered the destruction of a citizen's personal property after prosecutors dismissed the case against that citizen. In tucked into that suspension, it says Schneider was also disciplined for unbecoming conduct in 2005, although it doesn't say for what. Schneider's most recent suspension was for this tasing incident that's now gained national attention. Multiple independent police experts told ABC 15 they were shocked that he was still on the job. Based on what I've seen, I can't imagine that this officer is still an officer with the Glendale Police Department. In June 2018, he received a written reprimand for workplace harassment and creating a hostile work environment inside his unit. The document is vaguely worded, but says Schneider's repeated actions were considered insubordinate, bullying, and had escalated to physical contact with employees. Then it says this. There was a significant event in March 2016 that had come to be referred to as the chair incident. The incident was not fully investigated, but clearly impacted the squad as a whole. It's not clear if there are other incidents or complaints against Schneider that were not fully or properly investigated. Remember, the governor came out and called this whole taser investigation a whitewash. And experts tell us that Glendale appears to have covered up not only for Schneider's actions, but also the fact that he appeared to lie about the nature of the traffic stop. We showed that he could not have seen the alleged blinker violation because he was in a back alley. That's why we requested all records, documents, and recordings from all of Schneider's complaints and internal investigations. We'll let you know what we find. In the newsroom, Dave Biscobay, ABC 15, Arizona. So let's get back to the big question here. Is Officer Schneider still out on the streets? It's a question many of you have asked us, and we've been trying to get an answer since last Thursday. And at first, police told us, quote, we declined to answer questions concerning this matter. When we asked again, they sent us an old response from February 8th before we broke the story, saying he was assigned to patrol. When we told them that didn't clearly answer our question about whether he is currently on patrol, they wrote, respectively speaking, it does answer the question as it still applies. And we don't know what that means, so we asked for a simple yes or no answer. And here's what they sent us today. Quote, our apologies, as there is no one in the office today due to a federal holiday. Please have a wonderful President's Day. We look forward to speaking with you later this week. This is a continuously developing story that we are committed to staying on top of. And we're bringing you the very latest updates. You can find them all as they come in. Our complete investigation right now on ABC15.com.